Welcome back to Simply Be Makeup. This look is inspired by the panda bear. You might be able to tell because of the dark, deep, black cut crease. Huge onto the eyebrow bones even on me. Um, I decided to do a series for animal inspired looks this summer and this is the result of inspiration number one being the panda bear. And uh, yeah, if you're interested in how to get this look or if you just like watching these videos for the sake of watching them, then stay tuned. All right, we're going to first start out by priming the eyelid. This is my Depotted Urban Decay Primer Potion. I always use this before applying any base or shadow to my lids. It prevents any creasing and it also prevents the color from kind of dusting off your lids. So in case you didn't know. So I'm going to apply that all over. Whoop, my hair is getting in the way. All up, even into the eyebrow, because as you can see on this side, there is plenty of shadow and whatnots in my eyebrows. Make sure you get underneath your eyelids as well, the hair, because that area tends to crease the most, especially if you're getting a little bit tired, you get bags under your eyes, so yeah. Now I'm taking NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean. I'm going to trace the cut crease with the pencil, just so I get an idea of where I want the black to be. So you don't even have to use that much. It's a really strong color. So you can just trace it out, and then in the outer corner of your eye, just take it out a little bit, and then it's going to keep it in a round shape. So just go back over that like so. It will look really silly, I promise. <laughs> You're going to take a little bit of a stiffer dome fluffy brush <laughs> and then we're going to blend that out just a little bit so that it kind of has some spread power. It'll be more vibrant, that's for sure. And you can take it all the way up into your eyebrow because my eyes are actually kind of short set this way. So I'm just taking it into the eyebrow because I can. If you don't want to or you want to make it a lot smaller, be my guest. Then be sure to wipe your brush off to get all the excess black off of it. And if you have an area that's not so nice, then you can just blend that a little bit better. And also don't worry if you get it too far into your eyelid because we can go back over that later and fix it. And if you find that they're not symmetrical, you can go back in with a makeup remover wipe and fix it if you want, or you can keep it asymmetrical to keep it a little interesting. And make sure you just blend it out well with your fluffy brush, that way when you go to apply the powder, it doesn't crease up and get cakey. With the same fluffy brush and a matte black shadow, I'm gonna tap it into the shadow, get a little bit of powder on the brush. I'm gonna brush over the top of that black cream to lock it in place blend it well and I'm going to take it into this outer corner of my lashes here and just kind of blend it in. It doesn't have to look nice at all. I'm going to take it underneath the hair. I'm taking a white cream pencil and a flat shading brush like this and I'm going to take it and brush it off onto the actual bristles so I have more control over the product and you're just going to pat it over your lid in short sweeping motions make sure that you don't apply too much product and into the inner tear duct and then bring it underneath the black and if it blends together that's fine because we're going to go over the top of the cream with a powder an eyeshadow powder to lock it in place bring it underneath Drag it underneath your bottom lash line to about halfway. And if you find that your color has actually turned to gray and it's no longer white, wipe off your brush and go back over it with a white again. And dab it over the top of your eyebrow. This is optional, of course. I choose to do it because I think it looks kind of cool. Um, if you choose not to, that's fine. You can just skip this step. So I'm going over the top of my, the outer part of my eyebrow, just above that black part. The, uh, the cut crease. Blend this out with my ring finger. And if you need to, you can go back over the eyebrows just to kind of mute them out a little. I just wanted to do that. 
Now I'm taking a matte white eyeshadow, another flat shading brush. As you can see, there's a lot of fallout. And I'm gonna tap this over the top of that cream just to lock that white into place. And if there's any part that's a little gray or a little dull, then the white will add extra vibrancy to that as well. Underneath as well. Okay, this next part, we're gonna take a black eyeliner cool pencil whatever you choose to use and we're gonna line the waterline with that and make sure to get your upper waterline as well so you're gonna tight line blink to transfer the color if you have a creamy enough pencil if not then go back over and make sure you get it well enough and then on this outer corner you're gonna take your pencil and just kind of dab it over and underneath and you can use your finger or even a smudging pencil to smudge this out of here and blend it in with that white so it's going to soften that a bit now here comes the fun part I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to line Whoop. my pencil broke so I'll be right back all right back with the sharpened pencil I'm going to smudge it and outline that cut crease just to give it a cleaner look Connected to that upper lash line here. And then line your upper lash line. Alright, I zoomed in a little bit so you can kind of see how the edges of this look. It's a little sloppy, so I'm going to go in with a little brush like this and I'm going to soften those lines up and smooth out that shadow. Alright, so the next step will be to apply mascara, so I'm going to go ahead and apply my mascara and I'll be right back. Alright, so I've applied mascara and I feel like I need a little something something <laughs> in my lashes. Not that I really do, but I feel I want them. So I'm going to go ahead and apply um, a demi lash on the outer corner of the eyelashes. As you can see on this side, I kind of have a little bit of a, an extra bling of lashes there. So I'm going to go ahead and apply them, so I'll be right back. Alright, so I applied the demi lash and I'm going to go back over that with a little bit of mascara to blend my real lashes together with the fake ones. Ah. And then for the rest of the face, since it is summer, I'm going to just leave my face as is um, with the tinted moisturizer and I'm slightly sunburned as you can possibly see in the little bit of redness on my face. And then again, it doesn't help that I'm seeing on the sun. <laughs> So I'm going to skip all blush and bronzer and all that sort of jazz, but I will go ahead and apply a lip color. This is LA Colors Lipstick in Sorbet, and it's just a really soft pink color. And then you can apply gloss over the top of that if you want. And that's that. Ooh, zoom out. This is kind of a fun look if you want to be editorial or if you want to go out to a parade where animals are kind of the in thing. Just don't go to the zoo with this look. I doubt you'll fit in. <laughs> so that's that. I hope this was fun for you and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoy the summer. Stay tuned for any giveaways that I may have on the Facebook page. Stay electric and I'll talk to you later. Bye!